guys. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is the ISM book. Uh, we had the test for the last two days, and so we're starting a new section. As you can see, I have one, two, three, and this is my fourth that I have. So um, let's talk about the new items that we are going to learn about. So what we're going to learn about is we're going to learn about what a mole is. Okay. So when we're talking about a mole or MOL. We're talking about an SI unit based on the use of measurement of an amount of a substance. When we're talking about amount of a substance, we're talking about an atom, okay? So in here, they have given us a Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number isn't going to be an important number because that right there is going to tell you how many particles there is in one mole of a substance. So if you're looking at the periodic table, you will see that one atom, or one of these, okay, each one of these, no matter how much it is, they're all considered one mole. And if you're talking about how many molecules are in there, or particles that are in there, there's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd for each one of these, okay? So I want to make sure that you understand that. So, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually do a conversion, and our conversion is between a mole and a particle, okay? So when we're doing this, it gave us an example of roses, and it talked about a dozen roses equals 12 roses. So if you are getting 3.25 dozen of roses, how many actual roses that you're going to get? So let's look at our calculator first. So the first thing that we're going to do when we're doing this, we're going to put in our number, which is 3.5, okay? We're going to do an open bracket. As you can tell, this is a fraction. So we're going to do alpha y enter. Sorry, I'm going to start my, start my watch. Start my watch. Get it picked up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're going to multiply it by 12 roses in one dozen. We're gonna close our bracket and we hit and hit enter and we got 42 roses. So that is pretty simple. So the way that I remember these things is this. When I'm doing these type of questions, I want to make sure that I know what I'm trying to convert. So here, I'm trying to convert dozens into how many roses? So now what we're going to do is now we're not going to do roses as an analogy. We're actually going to do the number of moles, okay? So if there's 3.5 moles of sucrose and we're trying to find out how many molecules there are, we're going to do 3.5 open bracket. Remember, that's a fraction, so alpha y enter. We're going to put 6.02 times 10 caret 23, okay? We're going to go over here and do this, and we'll go back down. And we're going to do one, over, close bracket, enter, and we get um, 2.107 times 10 to the 24th. So, based on that information, that's what we have right here, okay? So, as you can tell, Miss Sloan rounded it to 2.11. The reason I did that for is because after the zero is a seven, so that means I have to round it up to a one, okay? So let's look at the practice problem. So we run into some practice problems on page 223, and the first one says zinc is used to form corrosive inhibitor surface of galvanized steel. Determine the number of zinc atoms and 2.5 moles of zinc. So, one thing I'm doing is I'm taking my 2.5, I'm going to do my open bracket, alpha y, enter again. I'm going to put my 6.02 times 10, caret 23, over, down, one, over, close, and I get 1.5 times 10 to the 24th power. Okay, number two says, calculate the number of molecules in 11.5 moles of water. Well, I'm going to do the same thing over again, 11.5 times, and then I'm going to open brackets, alpha y, enter, right? And I'm going to do 6.02 times 10, 
caret 23 over down 1 over close bracket enter and I get 6.92 times 10 to the 24th okay so number three is about the same thing number four basically what it does here is four is a little bit different because it's called a challenge problem it says calculate the number of oxygen atoms in five moles of oxygen molecule oxygen is a diatonic molecule so what that means that means there's two oxygens so what you're going to do is you're going to take your number that you get which is 3.01 times 10 to the second power, excuse me, 24th power, and you're going to multiply that by 2, and you should get 9.06, I mean 6.02 times 10 to the 24th. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into a new concept now, and this concept's different than what we have. So this is where we're taking particles to moles. Now over here, we did moles to particles. So what you think? Number of represented particles times one mole. Look here. One's on the top this time and 6.02 is on the bottom. How do we know? Representing the particles will have to cancel out. Moles will be left and my answer will be in moles. Okay? So, here we go again. 2.11 times 10 caret 24. Okay? And I'm going to open bracket and I'm going to do alpha y enter 1 and then down 6.02 times 10 caret 23 over close bracket enter and as you can see I get 3.50 okay now notice there's no powers here okay so I rounded it to the second digit most of the times we will so next example problem was telling us we had the number of atoms was 4.5 times 10 to the 24th and one mole of Zn was 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And then we're looking for if the moles of Zn equals the number of moles. So if we're trying to find this, and that's what we're trying to do, we're trying to actually see is atoms and moles the same. So let's see what we got. So we have 4.50 times 10 to the 24th atoms. And here we have atoms. Remember, atoms and atoms cancel out. The only thing we have moles left. So let's see, 4.50 times 10 caret 24 over open bracket, alpha y enter because it's a fraction, 1 down 6.02 times 10 caret 23 over, over, close bracket, enter, and I get 7.47 and I changed it to 7.48. Number 5, A and B are exactly the same thing except one's for aluminum, one is for Fe. And then number 6, it was asking you uh, identify the representing particle from each molecule and convert the given number of represented particles to moles. So here is a formula unit excuse me, this one is a molecular unit, so it should be 6.23 moles of CO2. This is a formula unit, and that is um, going to be, let's see, 3.58 times 10 caret 23, open bracket, alpha y enter, that would be 1 over 6.02 times 10, and that would be caret 23, over over close bracket and I got 0.59 so I would say 0.59 and this is going to be moles of ZNCl2 okay and that is my answer now I want to make sure you understand something this is where you have to take your time and make sure that you know the difference between the two of them make sure you know the difference between if you're going to go from a number of moles to molecules and the way that you can do this is if you look on here whatever's on here like the moles here need to be on bottom here and that will tell you where 6.02 Avogadro's number needs to be okay so if we're going from moles to molecules molecules are going to be on the top now if we're going from molecules to moles what we're going to do is the molecules are here 
and that means the molecule number, Avogadro's number, is going to be on the bottom. All right? And make sure that when you do your calculation, you do your bracket, alpha y in, you know, enter, to get your fraction so you can have this. Now, I'm thinking I might post something online tomorrow for you to practice a little bit more if you want some more practice on it. This right here is just straight from the textbook. Ain't hard at all. I just want to make sure you get a concept of this before we go on. I hope you have a good day, and I will see you tomorrow.